Well. Sling Z mate. That was one ride that I would like to never repeat. Yes but Z. What do you think Larry will make of it? I don't know but we have a lot of work to do. What is it with your outfit? You look like a crash test dummy. Oh this outfit. Russell said I have to wear it while sailing the SE-72 from now on. So the forces imposed on my body can be measured. If we flip it again. A bit like the load cells in the winged foils that send info to the team. It is the same for me when I fall 50 feet from the upturned hull my injuries will be calibrated with the forces measured. And if I survive then that will help the sailing world and mankind in general. Well. When you call for a bear away again in 20 knots like you did last week I will think twice about doing it in such big waves. Spit Z. Mate. Are you blaming me for the flip and not just the foiling multi-hull problem? I never had a problem when I sailed lasers. I didn't say that mate but. The others were considering it. Especially when you are comparing AC-72s with lasers. Was that what they were talking about? Did you notice how slow we went over and how? Dutch E.D. Ritter's voice rose as we went up. At the peak. He was squealing like a Vienna choir boy. It was then I knew we were going down. Dutch E. can squeal like a dingo when the pressure comes on. Do you think he depowered the main wing quick enough? I reckon he did all he could do. Why are you dressed as a female crash test dummy? I thought I felt different this morning. I hoped you wouldn't see that but it was the last test dummy available as the Kiwis have cleaned out the dummy supplies. As Dalton must have already had some close calls too. Larry asked for all redheads on board to be fitted out. And it didn't matter if they were Oz's either. Okay. Then Mrs. Spitzy? What will we do when we are loft or have to bear away during the SE Cup final? We will be dog tucker. Don't mention the word dog when talking about America's Cup racing. It's been used too often before. Man. You were touchy. Did Larry give you a tickle up about your helming causing the flip? When Kutsi comes back from on Zed? He will be full of advice that might not be pleasant. Maybe we could get the rules changed to outlaw foils. As the Kiwis seem to have it sussed. We are the cup holders. We can change the rules. Did you see that the captain was the last to leave the sinking ship? Crikey. How honorable. I thought it was that he was just shit scared. And was waiting for the chopper. Yeah. He was just hiding in the house we know. He doesn't like heights and what is a 50-foot fall down onto a carbon foil anyway. Bring on the cup. 